Hey everybody, welcome to that Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today, we're going to be looking at a set of chokes, and we're going to see what pattern each one of them gives us. Uh, what I brought out was the Emperor MXP-12 shotgun. You might have seen this one in an earlier video when we were just testing it out. This thing came with a nice little case three different chokes in it. And people are asking me all the time what choke does what, this, that, and other thing. Well, y'all know I am not like the shotgun guy. So, I figured I'd do this little test here and it would give us some information. Now, I'll have to uh, reference which choke is which. I forgot to bring the owner's manual out with me, but I'll do that. And uh, I put... Uh, which choke right up here. But they are marked with little hashes on them. This one has one hash. This one has three. And the one that was in it has five. So we're going to start out with the one with the single hash in it. We'll put it in the right way. I'm glad to get a good little key in here. Right, that's in there and it's in there tight. Say so we got uh, the thug working for us today. He's going to be catching this bird shot. We have this uh, Winchester 8 shot that Tim sent us. And that's what we're going to be shooting out of it for our test today. Go ahead and grab three of them and get them out of there. Alright, let's grab us some ears and see what it does to that thug target. I'm going to aim a uh, dead center of it. grab that one and bring it down here and we'll see what we got with it. Alright guys, that choke yeah, it's a little windy out here. We've been having a lot of storms here lately. This is what we got with that choke. I mean it held a pretty good group there. It put a good knot right there in his stomach, that's for sure. Alright. Now for our next one. three slashes on it. Alright, well, let's see what it'll do. Alright, same ammo. Same thing, I'll try my best thing for a uh, dead center of it. Wow, I did not expect that. Let me go grab that target there. Oh, I shot to the right a little bit. Let me grab it and bring it up, and I'll show that one to y'all. And there's what that one done. Hmm, quite interesting. Like it held the uh, shot cup, apparently. Traveled through there and got him pretty good. And I don't know if I said it or not, all of these shots are at 10 yards. Let's set this one over here with his buddy. 
We have one more up there. Let's try this uh, last joke and see how much difference it's going to make. Alright, for our last one, then I'll run and get it and we'll do a comparison of the three. Well, don't see much on that one. Now I'm going to go and tell you the left side of that target got wet when I had them laying underneath here. So it's going to be a little bit funky, but at least we'll get the general idea of what these three are up to. And here's the pattern that we got out of that one. I mean, it just peppered the dog out of that poor fella. I'm going to say before the wind starts acting up, Right, guys, this wind's killing me over here. I'm trying to get y'all a comparison and a view of these. And the wind will just not be my friend today. Well, there's the first one. Then the second. And then the third one. Well guys, there you have it. There's the differences. And in three different choke styles. Um, I'm always getting questions asking about them. So we'll grab these for the wind takes them away. Those of y'all know, it's enough to keep up with the rain. You don't need mess like this all over the place. But, like I was saying, there's a difference in the three choke styles that comes with this shotgun. And, yeah, I mean, I can see a difference on them paper targets. I think it was a good test, and uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you would, throw down some comments if you're able. Hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.